Good morning and welcome back to the vegetable garden. It's been a while since I've done a vegetable garden tour, but a lot has changed. So let's get into the vegetable garden and see what's happening. Okay, so we're starting off at our so-called tent bed and we jokingly call that because it's kind of like a little tent frame. As you can see, our vertically grown peas are doing quite well. These were supposed to be only about two or three feet high and as you will see here, they are well over four feet and some of them are beyond five feet. Um, our, some of our romaine lettuce is starting to look really good. Our bunching onions have actually gone by a bit. I allowed some of them to set seed so that we can get some self-flowering. You may be able to see in here, it's a little hard green on green. We've got dill plants going and those are self-seeded. The chard um, in this bed has had some issues as you can see. We've had lots of trouble with um, insects in this bed, leaf hoppers and grass um, grasshoppers and that kind of stuff. These are runner beans and as you'll see in the other areas of the garden, other areas are doing quite, quite well, but hey, if they want to chew on these and leave the rest of the garden alone, that's okay. This is dill. Some of it's light growth because I took a huge harvest last, um, last weekend. And this is actually self-seeded. There's a reason why they call it dill weed, but I am not complaining. In one of our long beds here, um, which needs a little bit of weeding, you can see we've got some mescaline mix. It's starting to go to seed, but I'll chop that back and I'll still get another week or two of lettuce out of it. And our cucumber plants are going to need thinning. They're starting to do quite well. Um, some of our nasturtiums, uh, that we're growing from saved seed have come up and this I'm going to step back here a little bit This is actually self-seeded alyssum from last year And we love that because the insects love it. It's wonderful. The pollinators love it We've got some zinnias growing more nasturtiums growing because we use those where we're growing squash and here's the real big story Look at those winter squashes. Those are spaghetti squash and they have just exploded in the last day. We're experimenting with growing some soybeans in there. Um, and this is our first batch of bush beans are coming up. And then our runner beans, one batch of our runner beans, as you can see, those are planted at the same time as the others and the insects haven't gotten to those. So those are starting to look really good. Over here, in our vegetable skyscraper um, and you'll start to see why that's going to be in a few minutes um, our nasturtiums are growing in the corner our sweet dumpling summer squashes have started our peas are growing in the center here we've got some uh, giant kohlrabi that's the first year i've ever grown it supposedly these get up to 10 pounds i'll believe it when i see it uh, more romaine that's doing really, really well. Some leaf lettuce that's ready to harvest. More runner beans. Um, we have got some patty pan squash coming there. More kohlrabi, some more flowers. And if we go around here, you can see the vertical setup. Take a look at some of my earlier tours. I'll put a link in there where I explain how we're going to be growing in this. Um, we've got runner beans here and more squash. All of those will be growing up and tied up and growing across here. The runner beans will be tied up up to here, so we will have lots. Our carrots are doing well. Our beets are doing well. And all of the radishes just got harvested out of here and around the edges, so those will get planted up with something else. And we're going to go on to our first batch of bucket potatoes. <laughs> These are growing like crazy. I've already buried them a couple of times. I'm going to have to top off the dirt up at the top here. Um, and hopefully I haven't gotten the mixture too rich because those are looking really, really green. Hopefully we'll be getting um, potatoes out of it. It's only our second year growing in there. Our tomatoes um, here are starting to look 
healthy and nice and large. Um, we grow cherry tomatoes because that's what we like and we can maximize the harvest. On the other side of the potato, we have got some um, runner beans growing. Those are dolofs, and I guess I'm going to have to start tying those up. We've also got some carrots seeded in here and some beets, our onions, and some cilantro growing in there. And then we've got more beets coming in. And this lovely red plant, this is amaranth. Um, uh, there's lots of different types of amaranth, and we started growing it a few years ago because you can eat the leaves, the small leaves and spinach. You can eat some of the larger leaves, um, cook it like spinach, and then it grows tremendously tall and gives some really pretty things to the flowers. Um, I cut back the kale last weekend, and it's time to cut back some more. Be sure to check out the video on why you should never rip out your kale plants. Um, we're going to be having some uh, cabbage transplanted into here. And this is um, just showing you that things don't always go according to plan. I had started a lot of tomato seedlings this year on the inside, and I made a few errors. And frankly, I'm probably not going to get any tomatoes out of here, so we're going to replant that. Going over here, we've got more potato buckets. And we've got more gar, and we've got our garlic, which is really looking good. And I see we've got one more scape that has come up, so I'll have to come out and trim that off, and we'll eat that. And yes, these are supposed to be starting to die back. Each one of these leaves is actually um, part of the covering on the garlic, so that's probably about a month away from harvest right now. Uh, another. This is supposed to be winter squash. That's not doing too well. But over here, you can see that we've got our watermelon started. These are Cosmos, and those have actually self-seeded. These are more um, winter squash, and these are actually um, delicatas, which tend to be a little temperamental. Our watermelon seedling is looking really good there. We've got some asters coming up here and another um, uh, Monrovia dragon, which I've never grown before. We've got more potatoes here. And now we've got our other pea trellis. Now these peas, I hope you can see how pretty they are. Um, I grow these partially because I love the way they look and they give us peas. They're not my favorite snap peas. I like the other varieties better but these are just simply so gorgeous. And these peas are supposed to be this tall. These peas will actually grow to about 10 feet tall, so they give us some spectacular color. These are the peas that are only supposed to be two or three feet high, so they're doing okay. This is another variety of winter squash coming in here. As you see, we've got some calendulas coming in and those are self um, those are from seed we saved and those are actually edible flowers our um, runner bee tent is starting to fill up as you can see here and that's scarlet runner beans that will be providing us with beans and uh, lots of good flour we've reseeded some things underneath those um, black screen covers. Those would keep the birds off. Uh, this chard here is doing a little bit better. Um, this is rainbow chard and we've got some romaine coming in and I see we've had a creature digging in there. Uh, the carrots did not germinate well and these are more runner beans here. This is going to be um, Eureka yellow bush beans. And I did have some of our radishes, check out my videos for radishes, that went to flower. And these were just so pretty that I decided to let these flower for two reasons. One, they're pretty. I like them. Two, the pollinators. We haven't had a whole lot of flowers blooming yet because it's been a tough season. So I wanted to leave those and maybe I can get some radish seed. Underneath the black screens here were radishes, and now those have been replanted with beans. And take a last look at our uncovered 
raspberry patch. I'm going to zoom you in as you can start to see the berries are starting to form. So our raspberry cage will be going up later this weekend. So be sure to take a look at the video that I shot this winter about that raspberry cage. Oh, and we have a bit bee in there. We have quite a few bees actually. I don't know if you can hear that perpetual buzzing. So you can see we are actually going to have, hopefully, quite a raspberry harvest. Outside, rhubarb patch, and that's been harvested a couple of times, but our rainy cool weather has not been allowing it to perform as it should, so hopefully that'll change soon. So walking back up i think that's everything so i hope you enjoyed that uh tour it's about to rain and the bugs are coming on so i'm going to be running inside but subscribe like this video and come back next month for our next garden tour bye